Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas, and welcome to back to another episode of Brett's Booze Reviews right here on YouTube and Facebook. I am Brett. I am your booze drinker. This is Clark Griswold, uh, star of my favorite Christmas movie of all time, and uh, two things that go hand in hand are Christmas and drinking, so welcome to this episode. We're going to do a beer. We're going to do, um, it's not St. Nicholas. But it's St. Arnold, St. Arnold's Orange Show, citrusy and refreshing. It is a blonde ale with real blood oranges, and it comes from the, uh, obviously, St. Arnold's, brewed in Houston, Texas. I'm uh, looking for an alcohol content. They don't have it on the can here, but I have had the Raspberry AF before, which also comes from St. Arnold, and it is... Probably one of my favorite beers uh, that recently that I've had. So let's see how the orange one compares to the raspberry one. The next episode, spoiler alert, the next episode will be the raspberry AF. Um, smells very orange, very citrus, very, very high on the citrus on this one. And we'll pour this one out. And you guys can see me pour it. It is definitely a blonde ale, and I just dripped a little bit, but that's okay. One little drop won't hurt. Um, get another good look at that can there, the St. Arnold on there. We've pr you've seen before here on the channel, I've had the St. Arnold's Lawn Mower. Uh, I have the St. Arnold's Christmas Glass, which I honestly should be drinking this one out of the Christmas Glass, seeing as it is Christmas Day, and I'm drinking a St. Arnold's. But that's uh, we got to rep the uh, Brett's Booze Reviews here. So uh, right off the bat, I smell citrusy and blood orange and that's a good thing i like that i like that very well um very citrusy uh let's go in and give this one a taste and uh give this one a score okay that is very heavy on the blood oranges right off the bat Uh, it's it has a nice little bite to it um, it's not smooth like some of the other beers that we've had from st. Arnold's um, you don't really taste because it's definitely flavorful and citrusy and blood orange really comes through on this one it's flavorful but not in a good way as far as I'm concerned like like this is not a bad beer. I've had worse than this, but this is just not. This is just kind of one of the ones that's just really not piquing my interest. I mean, it has a good taste, but it's just it's just not appealing to me. Um, that's the wrong word to say. Not appealing because it, it's just blood orange peeling. Ha ha ha! I see what I did there. I didn't even intend to make that joke, and I made one. But um, it just doesn't appeal to me. It's not for me. Um. But other words, this is still a pretty decent little beer, but like I said, just, just not my cup of tea. Um, definitely the raspberry one is better. Spo another spoiler alert. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one... I'll give this one a six and a half. Uh, like I said, it's still a good beer, but it's just not my cup of tea. It's not something I would go out of my way to get. Um... I'm giving it a light taste, maybe, maybe, ooh, excuse me, the beer burps at 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, maybe if, uh, taking another sip of this, maybe my score could be swayed. Uh, six and a half on this one. Uh, that's about the best I can do on this one. And like I said, decent beer, uh, just not my cup of tea. Um, Blood oranges really aren't my fa uh, my kind of flavor, but uh, this was a suggestion uh, of one of my 17 friends named Matt. I have a lot of friends named Matt, but this was a suggestion of one of my friends named Matt. He said, if you really like the raspberry one, try this one. You'll probably enjoy it. And like I said, it's good, but it's just not my cup of tea. So that wraps up this episode. Uh, I'll be back with another episode. Uh, at some point <laughs> um, with the Raspberry AF that's going to be the next one the St. Arnold's Raspberry AF so until then 
uh, guys, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And uh, be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. And Clark and I will see you later.